What's going on, MetaFam? We are back in today's video to talk a little bit more about FINRA, and we got to talk about the CEO of the OTC market. And boy, there's a lot of uh, stuff going on with this, so <laughs> let's just get to it. Ironic enough, FINRA here posted about this, uh, learn effective strategies and solutions protecting senior investors from exploitation, scams, and other questionable practices at our 2023 Senior Investor Protection Conference, March 27th. If you just scroll down here, you got Tony Market Moves commenting. You got copy and paste. We got everyone down here talking about MMTLP. You scroll down through here, it's just MMTLP. We got Gray Market. We got Corey. We got Crucial Mix. MMAT News. We got our buddy Doku, Costas, Thomas Dubois. We got everyone down here. This, this, everyone was just comment MMTLP. MMTLP here the whole way, guys. So every time they post, we blast them with that. And my question is, same as pretty much Tony's and everyone else's, FINRA, please explain how the U3 halt protected retail investors. That is FINRA's job, is to protect retail investors. There is a lot of, they're saying this here is the Senior Investor Protection Conference, which is for protecting seniors invest, uh, senior investors from exportation scams and other questionable practices. Okay, what about your U3 halt? There's a lot of seniors trapped in this play that had their two days taken away and you didn't force shorts to cover. And now their money is tied up in this and they need that money to survive. If you would have put out a corporate action to force shorts to close in those last two trading days, we would have had opportunity to sell. Shorts would have been forced to close. The market would have traded the way it should have been tra traded. All right, moving forward here. Here we got Cromwell Colson. I got to give a huge shout out here to our buddy Allie at Trading Secrets. I think Mr. Cromwell's a good name for him is Richard Head. And if you get that, you know I'm talking about Richard Head. What's a short name for Richard? Last name Head. But anyway, huge props to Allie for that. I hope you caught that in this video. It's really funny. Uh, when I comment on no one else caught that little joke he did, but it's hilarious. Richard Head. I love it. And that's exactly what this guy is right here. Cromwell Colson. CEO of the OTC Markets Group, and here we go. So Ham Short Killer replied back to this crappy post here from the CEO of the OTC Markets. Uh, Ham says, I don't know who this guy is, but he has said nothing about helping anyone, just making excuses. Cut, count the longs very easy, MMTLP. This guy is a moron. He should lose his job. Watch how fast he talks then. Absolutely. So, like I said, we got, why is this guy all of a sudden coming out, the CEO of the OTC markets, why is he now coming out and talking about MMTLP? Very interesting. Being that everyone's getting investigated, people now want to come out there and plead their innocence. And this guy here is trying to put the blame on everyone but himself. Here we got Jeremy Frommer, the CEO of Created. Here we go. It says, Krama, we should talk as CEO of an OTC company I can help you gain better perspective on retail investor mentality. I'm the biggest retail investor in CRTD. We use humor to soothe our pain. Please don't condescend our silly humor. Fix the problems. Absolutely. Fix your problems, Mr. Mr. Head. Please fix your problems there, Richard. That's what we want you to do. We're pretty easy to get along with. Everyone that was down at Occupy SEC, Everyone got along great. There wasn't any arguing, no fighting, no bickering. Everyone was there rallying together for the greater cause of this. Now we're going to get into John Berta. That's right. John Berta was on here. And Berta we trust here on NextBridge MMTLP. And let's go over here some of the stuff on Berta's re tweets and replies. So if you don't know, John Berta recently hired uh, Wes Christian and Flamethrower. They are investigating the trading here in MMTLP. So it's going to be interesting to see what they come up with and what they dig up out of the uh, you know past here. So apparently this gentleman here from the OTC markets is replying to MMAT news. I'm on the side having an informed and efficient public market for investors and issuers. The current situation of what happened to MMTLP shareholders is not working for anyone. There is also a fair amount of misunderstanding of market data operational mechanic that is bull crap so let's keep going here the ongoing question is how do short positions 
how do short position holders resolve their liability for next bridge common stock if it's not easily transferable or trade tradable publicly publicly i have no control or input on that i would like i would be easier if next bridge shares became publicly tradable okay first of all you don't know what the heck you're talking about here sir you're clueless and that's what we're going to get into here uh john berta here Answer would be they knew six months ahead of time that the shares were going to be halted and NBH would be private. Better question is why they felt so comfortable holding a short position so late in the game. Who knew? Who was talking to FINRA? How large is the short? Absolutely. freaking lootly That is what we want to know because these shorts never close anything. They already knew this was going to be halted. Someone knew. They had insider information. You best believe it. Not necessarily saying this gentleman here knows, but he should be able to help us get that information. Maybe he does know. Maybe he don't. I don't know. But he should be able to, if he's the freaking CEO of the OTC markets, he should be able to get that information for us. Here we got uh, J911M. Look what we got here. Connect the dots. Page shorts and shills. Uh, but the big kicker, look at the five people who actually like the post. None other than Mr. Cromwell, the CEO of OTC markets. We know that uh, the hedge funds are scurrying on Twitter. We see you spying on us. And here we see we got uh, this person here. Curtis has his post with the gloves off. And we got this progressive libertarian doing his uh, shill post here. And Mr. Cromwell put a like on it. How ironic. The assets that MMTLP represented are always worse, uh, worth less than a dollar per share. The fact be Began training, gave everyone their owner a chance to sell more than the assets are worth. If you received MMTLP as an MMTLP and didn't sell, and he just goes there. But that shows right here. This gentleman, the CEO of OTC Markets, is liking that post. That seems very suspicious to me. Here we can see where he says here, this is silly. I can understand why you might be angry and question the management of the NASDAQ listed company that has not made the shares they distributed publicly tradable so you can realize your value. That would be a useful place to direct your efforts. John Burra here, tags it. I would love to get a one-on-one -on -one interview between Mr. Head here and John Burra. And he tagged Cromwell here. Your opinion on things you know nothing about. The entire reason NBH has chosen to be private is because OTC, FINRA, SEC, DTCC, and broker-dealers have failed retail investors and issuers. Why would anyone invest or go public of all the problems that you have hand in? Absolutely. freaking lutely And John Berta here um, replied back to Jeremy Frommer saying not defending anyone because both sides of the aisle do this. But this time around, the chances of passing are greater than since the House passed single-issued voting. Greater, great bills get axed because one party jams them up with BS, no one wants, and then they argue to the other side votes against. Then we've got Ham here tweeting this picture of the flamethrower. Used this picture for a long time. And I believe that was it there. Yeah. And as you see here, John Berta did change his uh, background here to the flamethrower. So, guys, that is what I got for you here today. Uh, like I said, this Fender stuff, you got the proceed, something's going on. You got the CEO of the OTC markets coming out. And I don't know what the heck's going on, but he's trying to defend it. No one's buying that guy's bull crap. He's a freaking idiot. And oh, I moved my guy, I moved Mr. Cartman there. But anyway, yeah, I uh, hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash thumbs up, drop me a comment down below. And I'll catch y'all next video, guys. Peace.